will start blasting. And then this is where the tigers start rocketing, even though they're sucking. Okay, they wait, they've already they wait, they've already fired a bunch of their rockets? What the hell? Oh, this is brutal. Oh look at that. Look at the barrage of the bisons. That is glorious. Okay, again. These are just 81 millimeter mortars, but they fire like one, two, three. And that's 18 rounds of 81 millimeter mortar coveted. Can you imagine that? Hey, Jack, we day. Target those Tigers. I think you've had your fun. Definitely had your fun because they are almost out. Well, they're all about rocket ammo. Here comes the Bison. Artillery spam. Oh, that is just brutal. That's uh, not even the killing power, the, stir the pure stunning power of 18 rounds landing like that is just nuts. All right, howdy boyos. Welcome back to what is probably going to be the very final episode of my War Game Red Dragon Second Korean War campaign here in 2021. I guess I have to add that because I've done it at least once before. Now... I really want to make use of all of my airborne. I have been saving them up. Just I guess I used one them once, which they were actually very important here. But then the game crashed and I had to go back in time. It was a whole thing. I'm sure a majority of you have seen my whole time travel back in time uh, using the allied chronosphere from Red Alert. Uh, Command and Conquer Red Alert, right? And I went back in time and I beat them in their own game. However... This is going to be the last battle. Um, these two units here in China, I don't think, are going to be coming back into North Korea. A little sad. The battle here in Kilju last time was a little weird. And the Soviets, and I think there was even like one North Korean unit left, all decided to just surrender. All they had to do was retreat to Chongjin. I would have given them a turn to regain had like one final epic battle, but it's probably not meant to be. Now this looks like a battle, but it's not because none of these planes obviously has any CVs. And we do have a CV here, but it's going to be a naval battle, which they can't do because they got no ships, they got no naval CVs, and they are completely surrounded on all sides by, well, to them hostile, obviously it's my friendly territory, but to them hostile territory. So this is going to be a non-battle. Basically, they're just going to explode and that'll be it. That's a historical, realistic sound, by the way, the death, death noise from the division. And then, <laughs> we just have these units here in John Chan. They are attacking me, and we have very limited points available to us and also in our destruction. What I'm thinking I'm going to do is play this super defensively just so hopefully we can force one more battle and then we're going to use all of our... Actually, no, screw that, screw that, screw that. We're going to just avoid battle. That should end the turn. Because I want to use my airborne and I'm afraid that even if I play very defensively, these guys are still going to destroy me. Or, sorry, I should say I'm going to destroy them. So here, just so you guys know, I'm going to click launch battle. It won't matter because they can't go anywhere. Boom, done. So those helicopters are dead. Now I guess we could move the entire fleet of uh, stuff here into Naval Sector Oscar. Next turn, we'll probably take Chanjin. But let's pour in all of our helicopter troops, which I think are really cool. We'll pour in literally all the helicopters. I don't think there's any helicopters left over here. We'll pour in, I think there's some South Korean units here. Yep. And then we're going to start pouring in all of our airborne. Again, it's a shame I didn't get to call them in earlier. I didn't really think that this would happen. The whole, uh, you know, kill Jew, them surrendering and losing every single unit that they had there. But I'm out of my word. And my word was, we are going to do a battle with my airborne. Now I'm just going to double check. There should be no armor here. Uh, we could call in. I mean, this might just be for the flexiness of it. Uh, let's refit these. If we can fly them there, that's great. Okay. 
our eagles, just for the coolness factor of the falls. Get these Nighthawks in there. F-111s, the Harriers, the Itendars. We're going to just get all of our aircraft to all join the one battle. I don't know if we can reach it. No, we can. All right. Oh, my God. The aircraft alone are probably like 15,000 points at this point. Well, maybe not that many. But, yeah, so we can't call in these. We got no more aircraft left to call in. Uh, we could just call these in here to kind of look cool. Look, we got stuff back here. Are you guys are, are proud of me? And then uh, we'll call in these helicopters. And then we're actually completely out of points. Oh, I've got some of uh, these aircraft units. Oh, look at that. Yes, we got every single air unit in the game that we can get and that can fly here. Not kind of these South Korean ones. And they are all on John Chan. Oh, my Lord. All right, let's take a look at this, though. Let's take a quick look at this. 28,000, and look at the amount of air. So that this is the aircraft. Like, what the hell? That's, like, literally every single one we can get, including a bunch of ones that, well, even some of the air-to-air um, -air or uh, naval fighters won't even show up here, probably. Um but this is awesome. So we have uh, five times, well, four and a half times their unit number. Now, we don't have any tanks. And the thing is, well, scorpions, I mean, tank, you know, two, mil two armor. And what does their tank have here? 22. So they have 20 points more frontal armor on the T-90s. We are going to play this as airborne wood, where we are going to hopefully be able to hold this town. And then I guess we could start pouring in reinforcements from both to Taishan and to Kilju. I'm not going to spam my aircraft as much just because I feel like it'd be really easy to win this battle with that. Um, although I do want to use a Nighthawk because it's just such a cool looking aircraft. And this is one of the final, if not the final battle. Uh, we're going to set up our stuff and we'll be back for, I'm assuming, what will be at least two battles here where we obviously will fight to the end. Also, this doesn't make sense. Why don't we both have... Wait, what? Why do I have... Oh, never mind. I misread that totally. Don't forget. No, never mind. I didn't say that. We're going to fight to the end. We'll be right back. All right. We have a huge amount of different infantry here. We have Canadian, Australian, Japanese, and British infantry. All We basically have every unit or country that is involved in this scenario here on the ground infantry-wise. I've got them backed up with two tow jeeps, a recon helicopter, and in the back here we have a few scorpion watching a Mitsubishi, as well as over here a couple of scorpion being an early warning sign, and a single Lynx 3 to be the heavy support. This one's going to be very brutal from the get-go, I think, so here goes nothing. Well, that was I was very right when I said that. Oh, that is a lot of stuff here already. I think all of our trucks are basically garbage. We'll try and get these trucks out of here if we can. I don't know if there's really any sh any reason for us to try, but we might as well attempt to at least. Oh, that's a lot of freaking transports driving around. We got our Highlanders with the Eriks blasting off. We kill a T-90S. There's Pongays being destroyed from back here. Our Milans are engaging. This tow 2 is already out of ammo. The T-72s are all around our Highlanders. actually destroyed the SASR that were here. So currently there's nothing stopping them from just destroying my CV in here. However... The good thing is, obviously, we have Royal Marines and we have SEALs we can call in. So we're going to start doing that and hopefully uh, we can back up our units here in time. So we want to get... Okay, this is really frustrating. I want to get the veteran ones. There we go. Lynx, we need to start engaging units here. Our CV is about to die. Okay, well, <clears throat> we, we held relatively, you know, not very well, not very good or anything, but we, we are alive. Our Highlanders are... Oh, they're not very good at those short-range missiles. Okay, that's a good kill. OH-6, get eyes on. Okay, Lynx deploy. Get some Scorpions on the flank here in case they want to try and get around. 
And our Highlanders. Oh, there's three guys in... There's three guys in three squads. <coughs> wow, I can't speak. That was my voice leaving me there. Which means we have one dude left in each squad. We could get these guys up to 30. Just if we're very lucky. Let's deploy our infantry here. Highlanders. Oh god, I can't, can't believe they did that. The fob is working. Okay, let's get a Chinook to land right in there. Here comes the SEALs and the new Royal Marines. Lynx, you go back. A couple of vehicles survived. I mean, <clears throat> the thing is, obviously, since you lose the... If you lose the vehicles, uh, you lose the units that came inside of them. But this... That was pretty cinematic, actually. Okay, Royal Marines and SEALs have arrived. We probably want to put them, them, them both on the left here, just considering uh, the amount of units that we have left. Get the Sneb Gazelle to get eyes on. And let's start, uh, let's get a Nighthawk just in case we see any really huge, or I guess these BTRs even would be decent targets. I don't want to use my Lynx's rockets on those. Okay, Chinook's going to go deploy, supply all these guys with new ammo and men and everything. And in the meantime, I guess we can just keep getting more units. We'll get some more SASR, uh, I guess, on both sides of the world here. Uh, my Chinook got shot down. I think that might have been... Oh, that's not good. I don't know what that was. That could have been anything. Which Chinook has more? 2,500. Okay, 2,500. And get the uh, units that need to be supplied. We'll just pull them back. Ooh, these Pathfinder or Highlanders, they're not as good as the Legion. This, the, they have the same launcher, but they have uh, less training. They're not shock trained, they're just regular trained. But these guys are doing a good enough job so far. Just push these guys a little forward, actually. Uh, and then we might want to... Oh, sorry, did not mean to do that. You guys want to go in here. And then we'll get some Lynxes to deliver some Milan anti-tank uh, guided missile launchers. Ooh, perfect hit. I love those guys. They're awesome. However, we need to pull these Milans back, too, because they all got used up there. Okay, Highlanders push up front. These guys still have a third of their ammo left. It's not a lot. I think they can use them. Oh, no, they cannot. Oh, okay, there's the Ponjays. So we want to figure out how to deal with those, but that should be a relatively easy way. It's annoying that it cost us two helicopters to find out uh, what killed them. We'll push our infantry back up forward, though, because I'm pretty sure my Nighthawk will be able to deal with those guys. Drop in two laser-guided bombs, and that is a very accurate hit. That's perfect. We got some of our mortars spotted. But now our helicopters should be uh, able to at least come in and uh, deploy up here. Get these Unimogs back there. Uh, get this Lynx, I guess. We might as well try to supply you at this point. Milan, deploy here. More SASR. Dude, we're just filling up this town with infantry and equipment. Okay, fly you back. Lynxes are on the way back too. And now, after 19... Tr oh, after uh, two tries, our Chinook can finally probably land over here. And I want to try something. I want to try... Let's see if we can make a little connection like that. How many supplies do these guys carry? Oh, that's big supplies too. 1750. See, I want to try and get them to uh, supply the town from the the other town from the FOB. Oh, this Chinook's going to run out of few ammo real fast. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's just burning through it. Alright, well, you know, it did something. That's what matters. Alright, let's get another Chinook, I guess, for the time being. We'll get one of these, we'll get two of these British Chinooks to come up here. And I know this is kind of nerdy to say, maybe, but I personally really like that aspect of the game. Just the whole, like, supply stuff with helicopters and, and trucks. I think that's so cool. Like, I used to play a lot of uh, Transport Tycoon or, um, oh, what's that other game uh, that came out recently with a new one? Uh, something with train in the name. Doesn't really matter. Um, it, I love those little transport games where you just mess around. I think what we did, though, if we can get proof of this, which might be harder. Oh, unless that's them over here. 
No, I I know we knocked out at least one, or we knocked out two of their pawn jays over here. But I don't know where the other two went, because we saw them earlier, and I swear we knocked some out, but they might have been far away, just purely based on the fact that um, they might have been ATGM'd, but I don't, I don't see, unless it's this, no. Well, I don't know where they went then. Here comes some Bokshanzu. Our Chinooks are deploying. I think I'm thinking of Train Fever. Is that not the game? Transport Transport Fever. There you go. See, I'm smart. Oh, look at that. Here comes the massive... Oh, he's stuck in the mud. That's not good. Oh, we're getting... Oh, our trucks are getting artilleried. Uh, there's a tank engaging our fob. That's not very nice. Oh, there goes my truck. Oh, never mind. We knocked him out. I guess what that means. We might as well just uh, engage. Oh, well, we'll call you out. And then they're so... These things are so cool looking. I love the Nighthawks in this game. Very, very, very futuristic looking machines. So our Chinook here is good. Call you back. One of my trucks got destroyed, and they're actively trying to target my supply trucks. Oh, there goes another Chamaho. Drive, truck, drive. Oh, this Chinook got stunned. It must have been those VTTs. Oh, it's getting hit bad. It's getting hit bad. Not another, another. Oh, we've lost a third Chinook. Oh, no, that's like an Operation Red Wings thing that just happened there. Okay, at least our Milans are supplying. This Chinook is, is going to... I don't know if we can I don't know if we should take it off right now. Probably not a smart idea. Okay, helicopters. Let's I haven't even have I even used any of these tigers. I feel like I've barely used any of them. But this is pretty much the last battle we got. But we might as well call them up now at least and get them forward. It's a shame that I don't think I have Oh no, I do have mortars. Okay, cool. Um one, two, three, four, five, six. And uh we'll call are they, do I only have two of these available? Oh, I might have lost some in the previous... No, I don't think I lost any. That's so very weird. Okay, let's get a couple of cargo trucks over here. And the mortars will be very useful, I think, in dealing with the... Ooh, that's the fob gone. That is not good. That is not good whatsoever. Milan knocks out a VTT. Jukwe Day, our little PPSH armed infantry. They're, ooh, that guy just died really brutally. They're little marines. Or uh, militia. I don't know if I said marines. These guys are... Oh, nice. Oh, those guys are shooting into the sky. They are getting devastatedly destroyed by my infantry here. Not sure what that shooting into the sky thing was all about. Another Chamaho 5. Okay, let's get some recon. Get these Tigers on the left. Let's see if we can start getting some eyes on all these uh, artillery units. All those mortars are hurting me pretty bad. Okay. Helicopter. Maybe we can land you in there. This helicopter. I think it's time for you to leave now. There's some safety. Okay. All the mortars. You're number two. Oh, the Chinook's getting hit. Oh, no, there's four VT... There's four, there's four VTTs over there. But we're getting away from them. Just in time. Okay. Oh, there's another Pond J back here. So we didn't get all of them then. What's the range? 2,600 meters? 2,600... So we could technically outgun this guy. But why do that if we can just do that? And do this... Take out some of their supplies. Okay, let's not play that too risky here, bud. Yeah, da 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 da. Oof. Okay. Tiger OH6. Nighthawk rockets away. Well, they're not even rockets. They're laser guided bombs. I'm pretty sure. That's so cool. I love that. Okay, Nighthawk drops another bomb on their fob. Don't just doesn't destroy their fob, but it must do a bunch of damage. We'll park our tigers here, so we at least have the idea that we use them. We'll start blasting, and then this is where the tigers start rocketing, even though they're sucking. 
Okay, they made it. They've already they, wait, they've already fired a bunch of their rockets. What the hell? Oh, this is brutal. Oh, look at that! Look at the barrage of the bisons. That is glorious. Okay, again. These are just 81 millimeter mortars, but they fire like one, two, three, and that's 18 rounds of 81 millimeter mortar coveted. Can you imagine that? Hey, check we day. Target those Tigers. I think you've had your fun. Definitely had your fun because they are almost out. Well, they're all about rocket ammo. Here comes the Bison. Artillery spam. Oh, that is just brutal. That's uh, not even the killing power. The, stir the pure stunning power of 18 rounds landing like that is just nuts. Okay, I don't have anything to quickly deal with you, so we're just going to call an A-10 in. Because it's annoying me that you're here. I wonder if this happens. So what I've done now, I'll give him an order. You kill this, and then he evacs. Let's see if this happens like that. Oh, it w well, I guess we won't see it, because that'll probably be the last kill we do. Thunderbolt. Oh, he's in an awkward position here, isn't he? He is kind of. Well, oops. Oh, well, we retreated him anyway. Let's mortar more of these positions up here. Chinook, you are going back. Gazelle, oh, you're in some danger here with this Chamaho being mean to you, eh? Mortar spam ahead. That is so awesome. These are only like five point units, so I mean we could destroy a platoon of them and only get 20 points, which is kind of nuts, honestly. Logistics, I don't think there's really any need to do this. I think the game is pretty much uh, gonna be over soon here, but spam ahead. Tigers, Q move. Let's move up. Mortars. These are guys are so cheap to kill, so it like really doesn't do anything. But look at that. That is pretty glorious. Okay, corrected shot. Fire again. Here come the Tigers with their Giats. Does the other Giat have the 40 mil? No, it doesn't. Okay, that's what I always thought, but for some reason, that must have stuck with me. Man, these guys are getting obliterated. Tigers fall back. And that, if we kill one more squad, which is there, is the ball game. And I think that might be the very final thing that they're doing. Just because, I mean, they might heal and try to come back into John Sean. So, we could technically win now by just moving a single unit into Chong Jin. But instead, why don't we allow ourselves a turn? Okay, well, trust me, we're working on it, pal. And maybe they'll send something in. We got some MI, what are these, MI-28s? Oh man, this is just bullying... So there's MI-28s here now. So I guess we can push into Chongjin. With literally a super overpowered uh, formation here. Okay, looks like they've actually come back into Jonchan, so it's not over yet. I don't know if this is going to be an entertaining battle. We're going to be hunting down some MI-24s or MI-4s. Uh, but I guess since we can only call on these aircraft, we might as well get them all over here. And then I suppose we can R&R &R anyone that we can. Oh, wait. we Wow. I can't believe we are, like, inside of our... We're healing it next to Vladivostok. That's hilarious. Uh, you can just R&R because &R you can't really go anywhere. I guess we should not do Chongjin because if we do, then we win. We'll do Chon Chon, and I guess we could even try to do it without any air support. Look at the amount of points air support gave me. Didn't they give me like 10 or 11,000 points earlier? That is insane. All right, we got an extra sector. I don't even think we need the aircraft. They were maybe even a little overkill. I don't think they had any Ponjays left. I should have probably looked at that, but you know, I didn't. However... We're going to deploy our units, and we'll be right back. Now, the thing is, remember the... I think they were called the Highlanders. So, I lost every single one of their transports, which means, guess what? Da -da 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 -da. We lost all of those units. Now, if we were to resupply, we would obviously get them back. But... 
kind of annoying the way that works. I guess it just, you know, is can't really change that. Obviously, it's just the way it is. But it's a little frustrating the way it works, I guess. Just It feels a little... It feels a little weird that just because the transport dies, the infantry unit inside of it dies. But that's just the way that the game mechanic works. Um, this is going to be a little harder than I probably should have made it for myself. Also, rip all those trucks and infantry and stuff. Um, it's probably going to be a little harder than I should have made it for myself. But that's whatever. Uh, I do like a challenge. We'll get a couple of these Cassiopes. I guess we could even get ourselves a uh, one, two, three, four couple mortars to come in here seahawk i really make, need to kind of make sure that it's not wasting well that was a, a miss i really needed to hit, look stop wasting <laughs> wow it just wasted a hellfire on a vtt can you imagine that anyway my chumats are engaging i think i also lost two of those uh, sadly enough in the the fighting which is a little sad we do have a cool recon squad here which comes with a a sniper, and they come with a ghillie suit, although you can't really see that in here because they're in the bush. Um, us, see if we can engage one of these VTT mortars over here. On my way to coordinates. Out. No! I didn't know you were going to fire, and you missed too. How could you? Okay, Chinook. You this way, the VTTs are pretty destructive. However, we have our SASR ready here. Our Chumats need to fall back. Or at least be supported by SASR as infantry is pushing. Here we have those Parentes. Don't forget these Mark 19 crazy mat lads who were so interesting last time we used them. Chumats follow you back. SASR is engaging. We have Jukwe Day inside of our territory here now. Or inside of our, uh, our buildings. We do want to have a recon gazelle on the right. And we want to make sure that they do not have anyone approaching. But instead of uh, destroying them with air, we'll get two of our... I think those are Royal Marines. So the Royal Marines come in Lynxes, but then the paratroopers come in stalwarts. That's a very... I, I, that's very funny to me. Okay, Cassiopeis. We're going to lose a lot of you here, but I'm just trying to do it with just the airborne units. Okay, Cassiope is about to get destroyed. Oh, that's not good. That's kind of a waste of some helicopters. Okay, maybe follow you back. Bisons are almost here. Follow these guys back here. Canadian Airborne are still alive. Rocketing away. All LRPVs are 40 mic miking. Okay, we're trying to smoke, so they have to be getting they have to get in closer with me. I think it might be time here to call in some uh, <laughs> reinforcements to come to fed. Okay, maybe we'll follow you back in there. Get you out of here. Follow the sneb back. I know they're just... Um, uh, I know they're just VTTs, but... Okay, Royal Marines, Lynx, sneb, fly this way. Stun them a little bit. Cassiope isn't doing so hot. Uh, land you here. This front line thing, I don't think these guys are going to survive. Our snipers are engaging the Jukwe Day. We have our Lynx engaging these Jukwe Day who dismounted the VTTs, which is pretty cool. Uh, we'll fly you back as you are very damaged. I wouldn't want to lose anyone more than I have to. Marines doing a good enough job, supported by the Lynx with the snebs on it, which are pretty damn brutal honestly and that is a zero which i think ah oh, well we only destroyed the tanks but not even the infantry now the thing is there isn't really much i can do other than fight the battle for Changjin, and this is going to be really stupid uh personally i think there's only one way of doing this and I hope that we... Ooh, we do not have recon helicopters. Okay. Because they're all over here, obviously. Okay. Should have thought about that. But instead... We will launch the battle. This will be an amazing final battle. No, this will be the most boring and anticlimactic. Anticlimactic. Is that how you say it? Basically, this will be a very boring final battle, I think. Because... Uh, all I'm going to do is just uh, deploy a bunch of these Crotals and a bunch of Mistral because they only have helicopters, I think. Well, really only have helicopters. 
Oh, we have a couple of these guys. Uh, we'll send some K263s. And I guess we'll send along with them some of these French trucks. And then I really only have to get uh, a couple Tomcats and a Command M60 as well as uh, we'll put the fob. This is so stupid. I mean, I didn't even want to pause and set up my units for this because this is just kind of cheeky. Um, pu push this force down the road. We know... Okay, we don't know where any of their CVs are. That's one thing. This would have been a nice final battle. A little sad that we're not going to be able to do that. Um, so we know that one of them is over here in Two Flight of a Stock. We have Tomcats. We're getting 12 points. That's good. We'll get some more Tomcats. They have one PU. Here's their helicopters. Here comes my missile spam. Oh, I say missile spam. Not really yet. Oh, they're... Ooh! Oh, there's a PU. I wasn't ready for that. Tomcat, Tomcat. Oh, you killed one, but we killed him. We killed him back, so we're good. Okay, well, we'll just drive down the road here. We know there's one CV here, one CV there. I don't even know what the hell's going to happen here just in a second. I mean, they're not even anywhere near uh, all of these AA units. Their the Crotals are still shooting. The Crotals are really good. Okay, Q move the K263. Damn, man. This is bullying at this point. Here comes... Okay, stop the formation. K263s. Are these the VB... Or these are the VABs. These are the little French transports with the double 20 mils. Look, it's like the migration... It's like a migration of... Uh, Oh, man. See, that just felt really stupid. At least we killed their PUs. Uh, that is a total victory. And that is going to conclude this episode and campaign with honestly a little bit of a lame ending. There wasn't really much I could do. I really tried making the most <laughs> of that. I even gave them an extra turn um, just to get some... Uh, sorry, sip of water. Just to get some extra guys to come in there. And it just... Eh. This guy really needs to watch how he shaves, by the way. That doesn't really seem like... That seems really irritated. Random note. I think that we're going to... Well, we are going to have to call it there because it's going to kick us back to the main menu. We are going to take a short break. I really want to... Oh, nothing happened here, by the way. Nothing happened on June 4th. Um, we're going to really take a short break. I, um, I want to decompress uh, playing war game just a little bit, maybe a week. And then, when this comes back, I will make sure to really delve into Ash and Shadows, and Ash and Shadows is next. For now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and this campaign. It was a pleasure, as always, playing it. I look very much forward to playing Ash and Shadows for now. Love to see you in the next one. Cheers.